Memorial Day, Monday. And uh, for the last couple days, uh, we've been working on gardening. Paige got the bug to go and rip up the front uh, of the house and the side of the house. And uh, I've been helping her kind of dig everything up. And last night I got a tiller from my uh, boss. He dropped his off and um, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So <sighs> it was a really hot weekend. Oh my gosh. I mean, it felt so hot over the entire weekend. And luckily today it's cloudy and it's 69. Perfect temperature. When I say we got a bunch of stuff for gardening, I really mean it. Paige picked up an entire pallet of mulch. Oh yeah, and we got this guy. No, Ryan, his name is not Steve. So we did a little social distancing, uh, antiquing. There was basically nobody in the store. And uh, so yeah, one of the uh, booths had a guy that made all metal art and stuff. And we got that guy. Paige wants to go back and get an alien. I think that'd be pretty cool. I found a really tall, like, Yeti, like a Bigfoot. You gotta have a Bigfoot or a... other things like that in your garden, right? Gotta have sculptures. Around here, it's really weird, is that they've got, like, six and seven foot tall roosters, like metal roosters in their uh, yards. And I think that's just really weird. I'm okay with dogs and aliens, but not so much big cocks. So this is our project. I dug all this out. Got it all leveled out. Not really sure what to do with the stumps, but um, this is my pattern. You can see I'm kind of going from that wall, kind of curving in like this, and then doing the same thing all the way around. So today in this project, we're gonna be uh, tilling. And basically what tilling is, it's got like claws that basically dig up the earth. That's basically tilling. So you can plant or, Kind of do whatever you want uh, to the soil. And in this case here in North Carolina, we've got really heavy clay. So the clay is just terrible uh, for planting really anything. Anyways, let's go get the tiller out of the shed. So uh, I ended up having to replace my lock like a dummy. A couple of days ago, I left my keys inside my shed. And wouldn't you know it, that was my only set of keys to that lock. One key, period. Oh, I felt like such an idiot. If that's the worst thing that I've ever done throughout this entire project, I'll be pretty good with that. So this is a till. Basically, he's got these really big claws. Shut up, rooster. He's got these really big claws. It just basically digs up the earth as it spins around. Yeah, it's kind of a cluster in my building. Got a lot of stuff lobbed up in here. But, um, yeah, so we're going to be using this today. My boss just kind of gave it to me it was it was set already pretty deep I think that's gonna be fine as you can see here in North Carolina we've got a lot of this red clay it's not really the best for growing anything but um just the difference between potting soil and North Carolina Piedmont clay You can see I've uh, gone over it a couple times now. Paige wanted it extended out. It just made quick work of the grass. I uh, found a buried cable. Luckily, I know what that is. It's the uh, AT&T dial-up cable that we don't really use anymore. So it didn't cut it, but 
Uh, I'll just have to make sure that I bury it. The goal here is to put some topsoil down on top of this. We're debating on whether or not to actually get rid of the grass because I cut up some of the grass. Uh, but we're talking about putting a weed barrier down too, which nine times out of 10 usually cuts back on your weed population. At least that's been my experience. The cool thing is, is that that took like maybe an hour, if that. And uh, it doesn't look like it, but that's actually a lot of work to follow a machine around you're pressing kind of down sort of this one's got a lot of weight to it so you don't have to use too much pressure on the back side of it but yeah you make a mess Whew, i made a mess yeah it's humid out here today yeah you could basically see the uh you can basically see the sun right up there through the clouds it is humid. We've had some really bad storms uh, Friday and then some yesterday, but not a whole lot here. I got the grass mode. So I think I saw in a comment on uh, Immo's channel, D-Man made mention that gardening should be an Olympic sport. Let me just tell you, he ain't lying. I'll tell you what, if you've got a mower that you can tow behind, that makes life so much easier. <sighs> Forget having to carry 30 freaking bags of soil someplace. You can just toss them in the cart and drive them where you want them and dump them out. Isn't that awesome? Anyways, so soil is down. The last bit of task for today is going to be tilling that all up so that the nutrients are good with the soil. And uh, yeah. Probably laying down some border and I think that's going to be it. The humidity out here is just unbelievable. Woof. And uh, after the tilling, we raked it one more time. So instead of just being straight Piedmont clay, it's got the soil and looks a lot darker now. I went in probably a good six inches or so with the till. Uh, it's the next day. And uh, we got a lot done. And uh, I'm going to go take care of this real quick. It's uh, now Tuesday. And uh, I can't, I can't, ugh, having hair in your eyes is just like the worst. Ugh, it is to me at least. So we started laying the underlayment down. And, uh, and uh, we did a nice little border. And I got some uh, gutter extensions so I can get the water away from the house. I've actually encapsulated the underside of my house, so it's got like a plastic barrier to keep the moisture and stuff from getting up underneath. It's interesting is that uh, when they did the encapsulation, they basically said, hey, you know, we think there's a river running underneath your house from this point all the way back to the back corner of the house. So this should solve that. Not a very expensive um, solution. That's just my take on it, at least. All right, let's go get a haircut. bad yeah but we're gonna fix that right quick. that's right that's right <laughs> we're back ladies and gents there you go That vintage bug, by the way, 
it's on hydraulics it, it's got like an air support system so it's real low to the ground but when he wants to drive it actually raises up it's pretty freaking insane so remember my uh little metal sculpture dog thing that i got well i got home for my haircut and i'm kind of off today so it's been kind of nice just to not do a whole lot of anything but Paige has this whole week off too and she went and got herself a massage now that things are starting to open back up a little bit and when she came home that little metal sculpture had siblings it's like a praying mantis and then of course she got an alien I feel like I'm in the middle of uh, one of our roadside Rick's uh, attractions. And she got me a Yeti. Big step in. Uh, ain't gonna be a whole lot more gardening today because um, as you can tell it's raining. And uh, yeah, so we'll keep up this vlog and um, we'll show you the end result as uh, we get a little closer. But I'm back to work tomorrow, so there's not going to be a whole lot of anything else I can do until the evenings or the weekend. I mean, it's supposed to be raining all night or for the next couple of days. So, anyways. Hi, Steve. You going to say goodbye to everybody? Say goodbye. Hi, Jojo. Hi, little girl.